Are you going? Yeah. <laughs> no, we're joking. Um, just had a lovely bacon roll off uh, Ryan, uh, bacon and sausage. Look, I just took a phone call of a gentleman up, there, up in Lincolnshire and he wanted a little bit of advice about paving. Uh, very complimentary. He, it was nice to speak to him and it's nice to reach out to um, the landscaping community, the DIY community, and even some of the younger people that are possibly potentially moving into the landscaping industry or the outdoor industry. Um, it's a long road, the long road I've come on, and uh, it's 37 years, it'll be approaching uh, nearly 38 years next year that I've been in this industry, and even now I'm making mistakes. There's nothing worse when you make a mistake and it goes wrong, and uh, when it's costly and it's expensive, it's even worse then. So I think the message is, if any of you are out there, that if you do need some advice, if there's anything that I can help you with, just... Uh, you know, go to the channel, uh, you can go to the website www.greentoplandscapes.co.uk, that might help you in some way. You can um, go to the YouTube channel, which is Green Top Landscapes, what you're watching on now. Um, you can give us a call on 07795 595 994, or you can just drop us an email. I'm unable to get back to everybody straight away, but I do tend to get on it at some point and respond. So please be patient with that um, this morning I'm going to be cutting in the, the the edge of the patio and I'm going to be using a little ruby there you are look this is and I'm not getting paid to it this is the ruby ECD 115 um, it's a dry cut porcelain blade and I find these they're not cheap they're not cheap but if you're overlaying and then you've got to cut your, sh your shape and they do suggest that it's not meant for cutting meandering shapes. That's what they say, it's for cutting straight. But be careful, make sure that you wear, wear all that uh, PPE, your glasses, uh, your dust mask, etc., some gloves. Um, just make sure that you protect yourself, so important. They say that it's not for cutting round bends. I've got to point that out to you, but I do, and uh, I haven't had a problem yet. Touch wood. Um, so I'm going to be cutting in this morning. That's what the, uh, the video today is, is going to be about and uh, putting some coping stones on. But going forward, and like I said, if you need any advice, if I can help the DIY community, if I can help, um, uh, if, if, you're a, if you're a consumer and you're looking for a contractor to do some work for you, before you go down that road, there's a few things, uh, there's a checklist and there's a few things that you can put in place to avoid potential problems so you can start looking at the signs um do i make mistakes with customers yes i do but i'm always accountable at no point do i ever walk away from anything and um any customer uh that we've had in the past will tell you that and uh we always try to make sure that we um we get there in the end as long as it's not too costly it's a beautiful sunny today you sunny day today so you just got to make sure when you're when i say that when you're working in in, in clement weather conditions and like now this is in some respect inclement and it can be detrimental to the sand and cement you're using because if you're using a dry mix for example it can dry up quite quickly uh because when the cement exposed to the sun it starts to go off if you're using a semi-dry mix so you've got to think about that uh, about so try not to mix up too much and um Try not to mix up to it. Always try and work with what you can actually manage, I suppose that's what I'm saying. Right, that's it for this video because we've got to get on. I'm, our client is going to be around in a moment. Um, we've got to stick these units on, hopefully, today. If we can't, we, we'll all have them cut and we'll have the, the edge of the, the, the paving cut. I'm going to try and show that. I'm going to try and show some in time lapse because people like time lapse. Um, but the thing I was going to say, if there's anything that you think that I should improve on, maybe you feel that I should give up on the YouTube channel totally, that's fine. Uh, but for, for others, it does help. And that's the balance at the moment. So I'm going to continue with this journey that I'm on at the moment. Keep sharing what I'm doing. And like I said in the past, I learn from you guys. I learn from you guys. There's no ifs or buts about it. And uh, there you go. Um, don't forget to, to subscribe. Hit the notification button. And um, if you've enjoyed it, give it a like. But most importantly, be safe. See you soon.